everyone. Uh, this is not a puzzle channel, but uh, I do things for fun. So this is the puzzle which I'm doing for fun. My son bought this puzzle from the German market and the gentleman told him that it's very hard for you. He said, no, I can do it. So he said, if you can do this puzzle, I'll give you um, a free puzzle. So that was that. So he said, yeah, okay, no worries. So my son sorted it out within two days, as it were. So we're going to go back and see see what they do and what they say. So I've just I've just learned it, and I do make mistakes at the moment um, um, doing this puzzle. So we'll see how it goes. And there you go guys so that's how i did so guys uh, when we first bought it it was quite kind of daunting uh, a little bit and i didn't know how to what to so i thought well is there a way or pattern that you can pick up or at least remember some of the things to help you do these puzzles and, I, and i've got a little bit of help here um yeah so first of all the way i look at it is sandwich this between these two now when i'm going slow i can make mistakes guys so there you go, that's sandwich. Next thing you have to do, sandwich this here between these two. And the way you do that is move these out, move that that way, move it down, and there you go, sandwich look like that. And next thing you do is you need to push these two down here. So push them up like that, push them there, bring that down and do this. And the reason we're doing this is this is the pattern we look, I'm looking at. These two dot, uh, yellows there, these two there, this long bar there. Once you've got that, you can bring this down, move this over. Then once you've got that, you can't move anything except this one. So move it up, move that back, and then try and bring this one here, because uh, this, I believe, is going to be sandwiched here. Yeah, there you go, sandwiched on this side now. Ne next move is kind of tricky if you don't understand it very well, but you just pu push these two over like that, push that up there, and bring that that way so you can move this one. When you're going to move this one now, uh, what's going to happen is that gives you a bit of leeway to move these round. What we need to do is put this one on that side, one on the end, and this is how you do that. Push that down and pull that like that. There you go, that's there, there, and that's this pattern. Okay, the next thing then is to bring this up there. And don't ask me why, how, or what's the reason behind it all. Um, I just know that's what you have to do. So you just do that, do this, bring this up there like that, and there. Hope you understood that one. So the pattern I look here is this 10. This is a slot um, empty, and I feel like a 10 there. That's, that's how I look at this. Next thing that we have to do is move this up here, because that's the only one that can move, kind of, right the way through. Move that down and bring this down. So we're bringing this down now, and what we're going to do is make these four across there. So we brought that down, push them across, and push them across, and bring this down further down like this, and bring this down like that, so these can come across. There's three there now. Uh, we need to bring one more up, so bring that that way, push that there, they've got four that way. Now it's, it's almost done now, because then you just do that, pick that up, push that down, bring that down. And push that that way, and this this way, bring that across, and bring it out. So that's how I remember, if, if I need to remember, I know it now because I, you know, I've done it so many times. If I need to remember, that's the way I remember these patterns. I hope that it helps you guys, it's just a bit of fun I'm doing. And uh, thank you for watching, thumbs up, and make a comment. Thank you.